Unfortunately, I've had one of my hard drives fail on me, although thankfully it's not as bad as that scene will lead you to believe. But yeah, let's go through what happened. So this here is my home server. It served me pretty well. I made it back in 2017, and here's all the parts that are inside it. At the end of the day, this thing's pretty much just a glorified file server, although it does a couple other things like collect data from sensors and stuff, so all this hardware is probably a bit excessive, but it gets the job done and is reasonably power efficient. Probably the most important part about this file server is that there's minimal amounts of jank. I mean, there's a little bit of jank, or a fair bit of jank, um, like this chipset here. I don't know what Gigabyte was thinking, but this is a piss-weak heatsink, so I have to glue on some extra heatsinks. And uh, the hard drives in it, I mean... Uh, yeah, so it's not like I haven't been warned before, don't use consumer grade hard drives in your file server, especially when it's on 24-7 and doing a reasonable amount of work. So yeah, I went and bought four consumer grade hard drives from Seagate, and they're rated 2,400 hours a year and 55 terabytes a year. And of course, over the past three years, I've put about 27,000 hours on them, which is 24-7, as well as 5.3 pebibytes of reads. Yeah, I don't think my warranty's valid anymore. But I mean, hey, what's what's the worst that can happen? So on the first of every month, I do a scrub on my ZFS array, and I was just minding my own business, and... Yeah, drive A has 19 read errors, and it's faulted out of the array, and I don't have any more parity left. Fantastic! Although, this isn't too bad, because previously I have had similar problems with ZFS, either due to it correcting a checksum, uh, which probably caused by bit rot, or uh, more serious problems that ended up being caused by vibrations. The vibrate, there was a vibration. Uh, probably because I didn't have the hard drive screwed in properly, and probably more likely because I bought consumer grade hard drives. Although, looking here at the uh, historical monitoring statistics, we see here that the hard drive has actually got eight uh, pending sectors, and this happened a couple days ago. So this uh, certainly isn't sort of the situation we had before. And if we take a closer look at the uh, raw smart statistics, we can see here that there's some seek error rate problems. We have some uncorrectable errors. The uh, command timeout is insane. We have some high fly writes, which are certainly not good. And um, yeah, these pending sectors, although they're not reallocated sectors yet, and to make doubly sure, I took the hard drive out and put it into my Windows machine to check it with Crystal Disk Info, because smart statistics are always a pain to interpret, and it was telling me pretty much exactly the same thing. Hard drive have bad day, back up now. And that's exactly what I did, and uh, rather amusingly, you can see here on my network activity, uh, the two days I spent uh, desperately transferring data off the server onto my off-site backup hard drives. And after those two days, once I knew my data was safe on the third, I decided to run a ZFS scrub to see whether or not that would fix the problem. I don't know, maybe maybe something weird happened. And uh, it corrected 10 checksum errors, which is quite good. It didn't have any more read errors. But yeah, the uh, number of pending sectors kind of went up a little bit. Never a good sign. And uh, those smart statistics, they, they weren't looking too hot either. They're kind of getting a bit worse. So uh, maybe I should uh, check all of the sectors on this hard drive properly. And so I ran bad blocks in the non-destructive mode, not the default read only, the non-destructive read write test. And yeah, it returned 14 uh, read errors. Certainly not a good sign. But even worse, the number of pending sectors skyrocketed to 121. 
And so after that, I did a short and a long smart self test on the drive and both of them failed with read errors. Yeah, this, this hard drive is screwed. So uh, time to go to the local computer store and buy a new hard drive. And uh, oh, this product is unavailable. This product has been discontinued. This product is no longer available. Brilliant. Uh, but what am I meant to do now? I, I, I need the, the same hard drive to put in the array. I can't, I can't get a 5000 RPM drive and whack it in there. It's, it's going to be a big mess. I mean, Newegg does have it in stock in the United States. It's only $136 redos. But do I trust international shipping of a hard drive? No. So, I mean, hey, let's have a look at this uh, hard drive again. It's, it doesn't sound like it's a rock tumbler yet, and it hasn't actually reallocated any sectors. It's just marked them as pending. One thing that I noticed is that I could quite perfectly find read the sectors that were supposedly bad, and they didn't give any errors. They were still there, so they still had the data, and reading them several times didn't reallocate the sector. So may maybe we can recover it. Maybe there's been some sort of weird situation where maybe one of the tracks has had a bit of a vibration problem and gone over a different track or something weird a little bit, and I don't know. So I decided to completely reformat the hard drive, which, oh my god, that was... That has to be one of the most difficult confirmation windows I had to okay. Oh, oh no, I don't, don't want to press that button. Oh, oh, me data. But I, I did manage to get enough courage to press that button, and uh, several hours later, after it had completely rewritten the hard drive with zeros, all of the bad sectors were gone. No more pending sectors. And, I, I mean, I was expecting it to reallocate the sectors, but they were completely gone. But hey, I don't really know how it handles reformatting it. It could have been a false flag and the bad sectors were still there. It just didn't flag them anymore. So I ran bad blocks again, but this time in the read-only mode, so it would be faster. And that returned zero errors, which was quite a surprise. So evidently, in this situation, we didn't have any read errors. And so I decided to test with the destructive bad blocks mode, where it writes four different test patterns, and it worked perfectly. So that's a surprise. Maybe this really was just some sort of one-time random problem that the drive encountered, and reformatting it has fixed it. And throughout all of those tests, the current pending sector count never went up, and nor did the reallocated sectors. So I thought, hey, let's... Uh, Let's put it back in the array, see if it'll work. Oh, corrupted data. Oh, oh uh, no, okay. okay. When you put it back in the array and you've erased the data, it says corrupted data because there's no data there. The, the pool's still okay. That that gave me a bit of a fright when I first saw that. Ooh. But hey, eight and a half hours later, the drive was successfully resilvered. No errors. Went over those sectors. Perfectly fine. No problem. And I let it do its thing for five days, normal operation, and then on the 15th I did another scrub, took five and a half hours, perfectly normal, and again, no problem. I think we fixed it. So I, th I think we can safely say that there's absolutely no consequence to buying consumer grade hard drives and putting it in your 24-7 uh, server. And yeah, I mean, if, you, if you've got problems with your pending sectors, you just reformat the hard drive, everything's good again. I think we've solved it. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, why has it got a read error? It was working fine just before. Ah, uh, and the f pending sectors are back again. Oh, no, 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 not as bad this time. That's not as bad, but, ah, uh, it's still screwed. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe I should buy some new hard drives, although, I don't know, should I import new hard drive or just completely throw the pool in the bin and actually properly buy some enterprise grade hard drives. I think I might go that route. Eh, there, there might be a part two to this video, I don't know, when I decide not to be lazy and actually fix the problem. Yeah, but for now, don't do what I did. Buy hard drives that are rated for 24-7 operation and uh, yeah, expect them to be discontinued. And maybe having two parity drives is actually a good idea, because turns out hard drives don't just magically instantly fail, they uh, kinda screw around with you for a while. So, as always, thanks for watching.